The distant future of the automobile is hardly predictable. However, whether it is battery electric, alternative combustion or fuel cells, lightweight construction with plastic will be a significant factor in manufacturing for a long time to come. And this is where the material for the automobile of the future comes from, or at least it's very likely that it will. The world's largest polypropylene compound production plant was officially taken into operation in Hürth Knapsack, Germany, in September of 2019. Raw granulate is used in a twin screw extruder to produce special plastics, 200 tons per year. Granulate, which perfectly fits the consumer's requirements, is produced in large mixing plants by adding accessory agents such as glass fibers, talcum or pigments, which in part have been added to the exact gram. It's all tailor-made, so the customer specifies the kind of product he or she would like, which could be a certain firmness or a specific surface feel, for example particularly soft or rubbery. Appliances and automotive interiors are then made out of the plastic and the standards are high. On the one hand it has to be high strength, on the other hand it can be brittle. It should be durable and recyclable at the same time. All of this is possible using the polypropylene-based compounds. The quality of each granulate is checked every two hours. Car manufacturers fight for every gram in the components. They will not make any compromises when it comes to quality. The current shift from conventional fuels to the mobility of the future still means that less weight is necessary and that only works with an increased use of plastic so the cars can be lighter. The world's largest plant of its kind has created 12 new jobs, future-proof. After all, at present, high-tech plastic is an indispensable part of the world of mobility.